Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to be looking at the Unify Talk ATA or the Analog Telephone Adapter. So Ubiquiti has this on sale on the official Ubiquiti store. Uh, you can get it for $19 in the US and it's actually currently in stock. Uh, so it has two, uh, two RG11 ports on the rear and one Ethernet port for PoE in. And you can have USB-C if you don't have PoE. It also connects to Wi-Fi as well using a Unify OS console. You can have a fax pass through using G.711. Uh, so we've got a blog post uh, discussing all the details of the display size, go through the features of the, of the device, as also the software uh, details. So we're just going to look at the hardware now and then we'll go over the software as well. So this is the new Unified Talk ATA. It's a relatively small device. It has a few, few ports on the back. We've got a USB C port for power. Ethernet for data connection, and also this one says PoE in, which takes 802.3 AF and AT PoE. We've also got two RJ11 ports for connecting up to traditional phones, so either cordless phones or rotary or any old analog phones. There's a very small touchscreen, well, very small screen on the front with three different buttons. We'll get this plugged in and see what they do now. Um, but this this call this screen will display the incoming call information for line one, um, and you can also enable do not disturb. Um, you can also um, get the voicemail loaded up as well. In the box, there also was also this little foot stand thing that clips in the in the bottom of the clips in the bottom of the device, and you can put it on a desk and have it display what calls are coming in. So we'll get this plugged in and we'll go over the software now. So it's got a PoE uh, power on this Ethernet Ethernet port. So I'll plug that in, and the device will power up. So the Unify Talk ATA is now powered up. I'm just going to look at the, the what's on the screen. So we have the the time, the uh, day as well. We've also got line one and line two. So we've got the voicemail feature, which I've not got a phone plugged in, so it won't do, actually do anything. We've also got the do not disturb feature, which will just mute all calls. So we go to the menu. We can see that on the status, we've got the enter, next, and exit buttons. So enter status. Tells you the IP address you've got as well, the southern mask, default gateway. And then we go down to settings. So you've got the 24 hour time we can disable and enable. We've got auto backlight, upload support file, factory reset, firm update, and that's about it. Uh, there's not much stuff on this little screen that you can, can you can actually do. You can just view the incoming calls and, and see what see what's going on with the voicemails. So we'll jump into Unify Talk and see what you can get. So I'm now logged into Unify Talk and we'll now check that the unit the Unify Talk ATA is now in the controller. So I adopted this a little while ago uh, for testing purposes. So you can see on the right hand side we've got the line one phone numbers and line two phone numbers, as well as the extension and the user assigned to it. At the moment I've got the same user assigned to both lines, which is uh, it's actually possible to do. There's a call log which hasn't got any information in there. There's also settings, so you can reassign this device to a different user. You can restart it, you can forget the device as well, and you can also update the software. There's the overview which tells you the IP address, the MAC address, uh, the firmware version, the uptime as well. Uh, so there's not much, there's not many settings on here to do, um, but, there's, but there's more information in the settings panel in Unify Talk. So you've got the subscription details, the number you can purchase new numbers, you can port the numbers, and that sort of thing. So it's quite a basic, if not useful, update to the Unify Talk product line. It's relatively cheap, nineteen dollars as well. Um, and yeah, it's just an easy way of getting getting an analog phone on the Unify Talk platform. So hopefully that's been helpful to anyone looking at what the Unify Talk ATA does. You can find out more about Hostify at hostify.com. You can also contact the team at support at hostify.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Alex, and we'll see you again next time.